Welcome back to Bloom's Day 3. Today I will tell you how the banana farm works and also we'll be trying to get the max, well a lot, a lot of money. So this will be a slightly longer video than what I normally have. So sit back, relax, and watch some bananas grow. Okay, for this, we're going to be hopping in a nice wide map with lots of room to work with. We're going to be going with cracked. And then you're going to want to play on easy, standard, this will give you the most. And now I will be using Benjamin. Just because he's nice and over here. And he also helps make you money. We're going to place down our free dart monkey right there. And a tack shooter right there. More tacks, faster shooting. And here we go. Gonna try and keep banana farming somewhat interesting. Once we hit $900, we'll be able to place our first banana farm. Now, here are the upgrade paths you have increased production, it will make extra bananas. Long life bananas will just make them last a little longer if you don't have a banana farmer. For the sake of today's video, I'll be using Marketplace. I'm not going to use Monkey Bank because I don't want you guys to unlock that as your first upgrade. Banana Plantation is pretty good. It's just I don't want to use a banana farmer in this video. I don't have any monkey money to actually do that. So, I'm going to let it play here. We've got our first banana farm. And now, um, you have to go bottom path. I personally don't like the first two upgrades on the bottom path. But you have to get it to do marketplace. So um, You're going to want to get valuable bananas. That will just make you six extra dollars. I am playing in double cash mode. Pretty much the same thing as normal mode. It's just I'll be getting thing, certain upgrades twice as fast as anyone who's not using it. I say if you're going to use money on the game, I just, if you're going to spend money, just buy a hero. I'll talk about heroes in a second. We've got our first marketplace. Okay. I'll talk about heroes now. Heroes are the tower that you're always going to have at the start of every game. Now you're going to... They're kind of just special towers that you don't have to put any money into. You can to make them level up faster. I like Benjamin just for... He makes extra money for your entire crew. That's pretty good. And it's not bad. We're going to get a second marketplace. We're going to place that right there. We should be able to get that second marketplace soon. And then we're going to work on lead protection. Okay, we've got a mark got two marketplaces. Time to place a second tack shooter. We're gonna go to wanna go top path to hot shots. More tax, even more tax. And this should keep you going for a while. But just because I have a feeling it might not, we're gonna get a nice juggernaut with enhanced eyesight. Now we're gonna continue to work on our banana farms. 
try and get them as tightly packed as possible. That will be very nice. Now, because I have monkey knowledge, these banana farms will actually make me lives as well. And you can see we're already making tons of money. So you, what you're going to want to do is upgrade to overdrive and ring of fire. Because even though we're just going for money, it's still going to be... Good to have a good defense. You can see these guys are holding them off pretty nicely. And I guess I'll show you guys the other two paths of the of the banana farm. You've got what just makes bananas. This path definitely makes you the most money, but you have to constantly collect it and can get a bit annoying especially audiences once you once they're watching you for a little while and they see you play and then you forget to collect your bananas and they start getting triggered and then they'll go to your comment section and be like I just pick up the bananas so I mean that's what I'm not doing in this video the middle path will just you know how banks in real life make you interest when you have money in them? This is pretty much what a bank does. It's just a thousand times better. IMF loan kind of sucks. So you just want to stay at tier 3. And if you're feeling like you have so much money, just go ahead and get Monkeynomics. That will give you a free $12,000 every time you activate its ability. We're going to get another marketplace set up. And another one. And then once we fill up this, probably start moving on to the other side. We're going to want to get the tax zone as soon as possible. A village. And bam. And then the second village, just to help out with money, money making, you're going to want to get Monkey Town. And now, I'll go ahead and explain buffs as well. Buffs will just help your towers do more. Help with the tax speed. Help with other things. And it can be pretty nice. Oh dang, we just hit 300 lives. It's pretty insane if you ask me. Just like my audience is super sane. Okay. That That was weird. We're, we're, we're not going to talk about that anymore. As you can see, we're making so much money each round. And we're going to go for even more. And also, in this video, I'll tell you guys all about Paragons. They're these guys. Now, you guys are going to be pretty new, so probably the first part of this video will probably be the best for you guys. And now, I'm probably going to start getting out of the beginner tutorial stuff on my channel. And start just going for challenges. Because I feel like that's more fun to watch. And then you guys will start on... Obviously start knowing most of the stuff. So... And you're going to want to buy the tax zone. That will help your defense a lot. Then you can also get Ultra Juggernaut. But that's not required. We're going to be trying to get to a very, very high round. Like, be prepared for, like, late, late game. A 
This will probably be a 20 minute video, just saying. But hopefully I can keep it nice and interesting. And if you guys want to know why I opened up this, because we might go for the Monkey Buccaneer Paragon. For now, though, we're going to start upgrading our farms to Central Market. As you should have get enough income to where it's not affecting you at all. Hopefully this is a good mic distance. I saw in my last videos I was a bit close and it was a bit loud. So trying to help you guys out there. Okay, now once you get like about half of your bananas farm upgraded, you're gonna wanna start working on your defense. And I'm going to go with a fully upgraded middle path druid with lightning. Uh, we should be able to get that. Yep, there we go. And now this this druid will put vines all across the map. Now, by my speculation, I'm not saying this completely correct. But this will probably be your first tier 5 tower. Tier 5 towers are second strongest in the game. I say second strongest because you've got paragons. And these guys will help you out a lot. They pretty much guarantee you to go through round 1 through 100. So... I'll probably stream on my Twitch soon. Probably. I'm gonna try and stream there some. Because when I try and do some of these things, it's just gonna be too long for a video. So. I'm uh, on Twitch, Mr. Doge23417. So. Yeah, you guys can go check me out there. Just try and get as many central markets as possible. And then get yourself an inferno ring. That is very strong, by the way. Let me guys know if you want me to test this out on the blue Narius. Because... That's a boss balloon. Boss balloon, I should say. And it's pretty cool, so I wouldn't mind. I'm just gonna get another village up here just to help with some things. Now these guys should be pretty well buffed. Again, buff just means Oh, we just hit 100k. So, you know what that means? We're just going to put even more banana farms. Oops, accidentally got a monkey Wall Street. That's the tier 5 bottom path banana farm. Just so I can explain that to you guys. Let me guys know how you are liking the, um, Bloons Tower Defense 6 videos. I really like this game, but if you guys don't, I mean, I'm happy to change my thing. I mean, I don't care. Oh. <laughs> It's just so weird when the round starts because, like, it just spams bananas and it just clogs up your screen. Okay, what you're gonna wanna do now is try and put a dartling gunner 
all the way to the back and you're going to want to go middle path and then lock it in place shooting right there and that will help with round 100 these MAD missiles absolutely destroy Moabs we're going to put down a glue gunner you guys should be pretty familiar with these we're gonna go for super glue this will completely slow down balloons it will stop it in its tracks next we're going to get a little thing to help us we're gonna get a super maelstrom that will help a lot with just clearing the screen as you can see this is what it looks like it just throws blades everywhere. I'm so sorry, like, all these banana farms just got chopped in half, but we don't talk about that, okay? It's kind of a meme in the community that, like, you see this dart monkey? It's just getting laser beamed. Dang, that was an expensive example. It kind of was. We're only going to go to round 100 in this video. So. So it's not too long. I'll, I'll do a part two to this video. How about that? I'll do a part two. Oh my gosh. Do you see how many lives we have in the top left? 1,385 lives. We could survive, like, a Moab getting past. That'd be a little bit insane. Okay, now since we're probably going to get a Navarch of the Seas, which is the Paragon, we're going to get... Well, first we're just going to try and... Shovel as many monkey pirates as possible into here. Seems we can get only four. So, I'm going to go top path for that. Long range crow's nest. Top path for this. Cancel. And here comes the all the lag. And now we just got to wait for those to get a few pops. The other stuff. So we're going to go, each video, we're going to try for a hundred rounds. Each video will be about 22 minutes. We're going to see how far we can take this. I'm expecting around like 260. Not I'm not entirely sure what we're gonna get to, but once we make a lot, a lot of money, probably gonna sell half of these and start getting room for other towers. We're gonna start placing down towers to get pops for the future paragons, so. Bam, bam, cancel, and then, so that will start getting pops, actually, I'll tell you what, I'll go to round 110 in this video, depending on how long round 100 is, okay, no, we're going to round 100 in this video, and then we'll continue it. And we'll get the Paragon. We just hit one million dollars. Pretty cool. Very, very cool. I mean, this, this druid is getting like 100% of the pops right now. I bet the bad balloon doesn't even go anywhere. 
See, that's the power of this guy. I mean, this guy. He can just hook in Moab's all the way up to a zone MG. And if you get the Paragon, the Nave Arch of the Seas, he can hook in Bad Balloons with his ability. And also he'll just hook in normal balloons, like normal Moabs, just normally. Like you don't even have to press the ability. Super Maelstrom is pretty cool. Let's say it's the best ability, but it will definitely, for some rounds when you're struggling, it'll definitely help. You can see this guy's getting lots of pops. And it's giving us even higher Paragon degrees. It's going to be very good. They should make a Paragon banana farm. I'd give you like a billion trillion, but oh, there's round 100. Okay, I'm going to turn off auto start. Oh, sorry guys, I lied. It's round 101. Oh my. Okay, and that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tomorrow, we'll be getting ra to round 200. Actually, I lied. It'll probably be a few more days. Uh, yeah. Have a, a great day. And goodbye.